Hi Pisces, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate. Living your own life experiences during this time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of August, I'm offering a special called Tales of the Sun which is a two-part reading, part one being sunrise and part two being sunset. And um, this reading, those two parts were created to be a complement, but they are not uh, exclusive to each other, so you can order perfectly just one part or the other. Um, and they were created to resemble a little bit of the Leo-themed season we are currently on, which is all about happiness, joy, creation, expression of the self, our identity, and ultimately the path through enjoyment and happiness in life. And part one, Sunrise, is the light aspect of all of this dynamic that I was mentioning. And it sheds some awareness, puts some awareness into what positive influences and aspects are being birthed, right? Given light in different areas of your life. And the sunset is uh, focuses on what you might need to release and let go of in order to find exactly that same point of happiness that part one talks about. So if you would like to know more about those specials or any other of my tarot services, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following an Instagram page. So Pisces, I, I do feel like you're being called during this mid-August to really pay attention to the way you go about situations, to uh, the strategies in which you move um, yourself uh, with and around. There's a lot of uh, an attention here about the ways in which you, you choose to do things. There are key for, for the things you want uh, happening in in a positive way or and for the things that you don't want to happen do not happen at all so it really depends on how you are i feel standing in your ground and how you are choosing to direct your uh focus your intention your way of being i do feel like others of you this is about being fiercely protective as well and being called to be protective about your things your assets your privacy your relationships, the things that are most dear and precious to you, Pisces. This is the Nine of Wands and it's your opportunity during this mid-month. I feel like some of you are um, being called to be quite strong and resilient when facing um, energies coming from an outside force that might be trying to take something from you or to... Um, make harm to something you have going on because I do feel like some of you have some sense of um, jealousy or, or opponents, people that might not have the best intentions with you. Some of you, your trust, the trust you are being, uh, the trust you are giving, um, you, may all, you may also need to you know, make sure that those you are trusting are those you really have reasons to trust because um, you're being called to pay attention to signs, red flags, things that don't add up, things that are weird, not making sense. Just be alert. I, there's also this thing about you being alert, you being um, on top of situations so you don't... Um, have something unfortunate or less positive happening and um, it's like it's a, something happening that might uh, take you down from a pedestal take you down from a certain position that you are definitely entitled uh, of so some of you have worked hard to have the things you have some of you have worked hard to be the person you are today this is the Nine of Pentacles, and this is your advice. So don't forget for one second um, your position and who you are and the things you have uh, survived to get you there. So don't let things that are of a less positive energy interfere in the same domain you have or take you from the throne. I feel like some of you, someone, someone is like someone 
or something wants to take you from your throne. So there's a sense of competition as well here. Now, for others of you, that this is not about a specific situation of opponents or rivals that I've, I'm picking up here. It could be that you need to be uh, strong during this period of time on the self, being self-reliant, being, um, you know, having a firm relationship with who you are and with the things you have going on, being in control of your own world and the things, again, that are valuable to you is going to make a huge difference um, in you then being able, when the energy shifts, and change and changes in you being able to relax in you being able to uh, maybe pursue to another um, other experiences that are new and fresh and interesting because I feel like some of you feel like you can't relax or during this mid August you feel like you can't relax as you want to you're always on the look or you, you feel like you always need to be on the look and I feel like the majority of you are right others of you of course there might be a sense of paranoia or a sense of um, it's like, uh, how you say, suspicious, suspicion or a suspicious uh, behavior that might not be founded in truth. But until you know if it is or not, don't, uh, I feel like you shouldn't um, uh, put down the guard. You should keep it high until you understand if you do or not have reasons to feel that way because what I'm feeling is like some of you have spider the spider senses right going on here and really alert and awakened so um, you might not be able to justify how you feel or why you feel the way you do but you have to trust who you are you have to trust your intuitive uh, the intuitive messages you are receiving the gut feelings you're having as well the challenge here seems to be on waiting for things to turn around and changing again some of you are waiting for something, the opportunity, the vehicle of change, or the vehicle that it's going to take you to the next step. You're waiting for the time um, of departure of one situation to another to happen. And uh, that's the challenge. The challenge might be to wait, to endure, to withstand where you are, even though it might not be giving you the best feelings. I feel like some of you, this is about where you are the environment, the location, it might, there might be something you don't like or you're not comfortable with there in the actual space you live or you work or you walk by every day. Something is uh, making you feel restless, weird, and uh, for some of you even an, uh, like, um, like you can't focus or you can't, it's like some of you have something overwhelming you and you can't think about anything else there could be a little bit of an obsessive as well energy here um displayed from you pisces or the way you're you're responding to this energy might as well sometimes be a little bit obsessive the advice is the nine, nine of pentacles so again keep remembering who you are give yourself love give yourself time give yourself care again protect and nourish what you have created what you have established the things you have are your world and you need them to be who you are and to be where you uh, want to be next so you have here two nines and nines are about endings and completions and things coming to full circle so again you are reaching that peak of experience um, that precedes the actual ending which is the tens so you're about to end the phase, you're about to end the cycle, and now it's where all things come to light. So in the ninth, usually it's like the full moon energy. So things that have been hidden or occult or unconscious to you, you're going to start to notice them. You're going to start to realize what uh, certain things are about and what they are not, discerning what's real from what's not, and what you should be taking with you in the next phase and what you don't want to take with you in the next phase. That's why this endurance phase might be happening is for you to pay attention to everything so you can know what to put in the baggage, right? What to put in your in your suitcase when you want to leave. And I feel like some of you are being as well, you should listen to people that are trying to warn you of something. 
I feel like some of you have someone warning you to not do something, to not go in a certain direction. For those of you that this is not about you realizing or paying attention, it could be that someone that you might be dismissing because it's too young or you like you feel like he doesn't know much about uh, the situation, someone you don't consider is valid, they're warning. Someone is warning you for a good reason. So if you are being warned or advised to not do something or to just be careful with something or to not trust someone, don't jump into conclusions. Take that information, think about it, observe, and then, of course, appropriately react. Because it might be that this person, even though you're not considering uh, the value of their opinion, they might be right. They might be right about warning you of something. It could also be that, uh, again, you're just being, there's a little bit of a cunning energy as well about you, like foxy energy, you're paying attention to everything. And this attention is like understanding what you when to act, when it's when it's of use, when something or someone could be of use to you and when something or someone is not, and so you slide away from them. So I hope you have a great mid month. Thank you so much for all of you that have been liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.